Namaste beautiful yogis, welcome to Ali Kamenova Yoga, I'm Ali and today we're going to do a class called Let It Be. We're going to focus on the energy of letting go, allowing and also to some degree the energy of making room for new energy into our life. So inviting the new and releasing the old by releasing the old, inviting the new. So, are you ready to flow with strength and ease? Today's class is going to be all around the mudra, the mudra of letting go, sepana mudra, so let's begin at the front of the mat, hands over the heart, taking a big breath through the heart center, open the chest, roll the shoulders up, back, drop them down, standing tall here, engaging the belly. As we stand here, we're going to clasp the hands and cross the thumbs. Once the hands are clasped, we're going to press the index fingers together, which are the element of air and we're going to point the fingers down directing energy down out of the body towards the earth taking a few nice breaths you can keep your hands at belly level Focus on the exhalation as the exhalation represents letting go. It's also the element of air, which is the index fingers. Closing the eyes and focusing on the exhalations with each exhalation, feeling the energy releasing through the fingertips. Come back to this class when you feel frustrated, angry, or when there is something that you want to let go of. Not when you're happy. When you're happy, there is other classes for that. But when there's something to be let go of, that's the time to do this mudra. Well, we are going to shift onto the right leg and press the left leg back into warrior three, directing the fingertips down, the index fingers down, and keeping the chest open and the shoulders down, smile and hold this variation of warrior three for a moment. Breathe, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, and slowly come up to three pose, Pressing the foot into the inner thigh on or the calf and reaching up towards the sky. And exhale, step it down, hands down again. Shifting onto the left leg, warrior three, hands down and focus on your exhalation. We're releasing energy here. Slowly coming up to standing, see how far you can go without the hands, three poles, reaching up. Still exhaling through the fingertips, reaching up towards the sky. Step it down, hands over the heart, over the belly, fingers down. Take a moment to compose yourself, to bring yourself your consciousness into the space you're occupying into the present moment shifting onto the right leg warrior three reach down 
hold it here step it all the way back do high lunge and you can bend at the elbows hold the hands down focus again on exhalations Great, release the mudra and press your hands in prayer. Shift forward and twist. Since we are letting go, twists are very much about detoxification and exhalation and letting go. Sepana mudra is also about releasing through the skin, large intestines, exhalation, removing toxicity from the mind and body and from our field. and great step it at the front cross your fingers again crossing the thumbs extending the index fingers turning them down with an exhalation shifting onto the left leg warrior three feel the energy in the fingertips Step it back, high lunge. And release the mudra, hands in prayer. Twist. Focus on the exhalation. Look up, soften. Oh, hummingbird, beautiful hummingbird. I hope you can see it. A tiny little green one, he flew away. Great, coming out and Step it at the front. One more time. Cross the fingers. Reach. Turn it down. And envision what you want to release in your life. Going into the earth. Being removed from your body. Whatever it is. Whether it is uh, energy. Thought pattern. Emotional pattern something more physical allowing it to be released to be removed from your body from your mind from your heart allowing yourself to just be because the theme of the class is let it be and I actually invite you to listen to the song after the class so that you can completely seal in that energy of ease and allowance and letting go of the things that don't serve us, the things that are unhealthy patterns so that we can invite fresh newness, love, easy flow, even abundance. Great, one more time, warrior three on the right side. Extend the fingertips down. Level the hips, flex the back foot, turn the toes down. And we're going to step all the way back to high lunge and reach with the fingers up towards the sky. Again, we can release energy up. Open the arms out to the sides, twist to the right and release the right hand down, left arm up. Reach and lengthen and feel that stretch deep into the obliques, the psoas even. And we're going to bring the left hand down and flex the feet, step them back in, side plank.
hold it. Press the inner thighs towards the midline, smile. And here we're going to step the right foot in front of us, bend both knees, bending the left seamlessly, come up to cross back lunge and we're gonna push the hips back and lower down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10 and step it at the front. Exhale back, hands in prayer. Get your mudras interlacing, extending. Turn the fingertips down again, exhalation here. Shifting onto the left leg, warrior three. and step it back into high lunge. Open the arms out, twist, release the left hand down, right arm up, reach. And really get deep into that area here, the side of the body. Exhale the right hand down and take side plank. Focus on holding an effortless, beautiful pose. And you can step the left foot in front, bend the right knee and come up in the side. Back lunge and let's lower down one. Keep the front knee back. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, step it at the front. And we're going to bring the hands in prayer, accept mudra, reach over the head, side bend, look up, exhale, back to center, opposite side, exhale. Release the hands, forward fold. Shake your head. Inhale, look ahead of you, pull the belly in. Bend the knees, bring the hands over the thighs and let's do a stomach vacuum and hold it for as long as we can. Exhaling and hollow the belly as much as you can. It doesn't matter how hollow it is, as long as you are giving it your best effort. That's good enough. Good enough for me, good enough for you. One more time, exhale, again focusing on the exhalation, release, letting go. And hold a stomach vacuum. One last. And 
and exhale forward fold hold it here smile yeah. stomach vacuum sir proven to actually slim down your waistline without any fat or uh, weight loss fat reduction or weight loss so they're just slimming the actual waistline in the way the connective tissue and the organs are so it is very beneficial for holding us in tight and inhale look ahead of you and spread the fingers wide open plank let's turn the hips to one side and then the other one two okay four five six seven eight nine ten plank lower down onto your belly inhale cobra exhale down dog inhale the right leg up Ooh. and step it through let's fix this so we don't scare so inhale and step it through warrior one writing up smile Straightening the lead knee, hands over the heart, hinging at the hips, lower down, revolving triangle pose. Soften the shoulders, relax them, widen the chest. And plank. Chaturanga. Upward facing dog, chaturanga, downward facing dog, drawing the belly in, inhale the left leg up, step it through, warrior one, here the mudra is optional, again tuning into the energy of air, if you're holding the mudra, element energy and straightening the legs lower down triangle revolving and let's walk the hands to the center of the mat Bend the knees and come up. Plie, press the hands together, cross the hands and keeping them crossed, you can extend the index finger and press them together and direct them down. You can bend your elbows slightly and swing here side to side, feeling the pulse plie. And because this mudra affects the organs of detoxification and removal of toxins it is the energy that flows down and out and it's the heavy energy here this is a really good pose that complements that particular mudra exhale move side to side imagine that your pelvis is a boat i like that imagery and move side to side finding balance finding the equilibrium and because your pelvis is the vessel that holds your energy 
is a really good visual to have. Spread the toes open. Go a little deeper here and let's pause one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now lifting the right heel and pose one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Change sides one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and now alternating one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and we're gonna let go of the mudra because it is said that this mudra is to be held for a certain amount of time so that the good energy or the negative energy can be released and the good new fresh energy that comes in is retained so good enough we've held it we released it for now shake it out shake 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 hands over the thighs look over the left and over to the right hands on the floor plank chaturanga up dog and down dog inhale the right leg up step it through drop the back heel down we kneel the hands in warrior two directly feel the warrior two I find warrior two in particular to be a very first chakra, first second chakra energy. Another cute bird. That's a baby bird outside, I see. And let's reverse the warrior. Look up. And side angle. Try to extend the tailbone down. You can reach over the head, keep the shoulders above each other in the same plane and feel the subtle energies in your body, the subtle alignment points. Here you're gonna look down and bring both hands on the floor in plank alignment keep your back foot there and squeeze the right knee into the chest step it back so we're stepping the right leg back and knee in let's go one two this is side plank to plank um, knee tucks or side plank plank knee tucks four squeeze the belly in five six seven eight nine ten good job plank chaturanga upper dock chaturanga now we're facing dog inhale the left leg up step it through directly into warrior two You can explore the warrior, be aware of your pelvic alignment, knee alignment, opening that hip. Let's turn the right, left hand up and right hand glides down the right leg, reverse it and keep the knee bent, lengthen, lengthen and smile. and really feel that stretch. Great, side angle. You can keep your elbow over the leg or place your hand on the floor and really lengthen, 
Open that shoulder, open that hip. Reach over the head and find a lot of length. Let's bring both hands down on the floor in plank and keep that back foot there inside plank alignment and hands are in plank alignment and this gives us a really good challenge here. So knee in and back one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Plank, walk your feet to the front. Exhale, forward fold. Forming fists with the hands. Start tapping the calves and move the hands up into the hamstrings and back down calves. And tap, 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 tap. Now, little taps on the kidneys without walking them hard. Just little taps, kind of like knock, knock. Very mild. The kidneys don't like heavy energy. Just a very mild energy to awaken the energy of the kidneys, which are also an organ of release. Great. And chair pose, another. Another very first second chakra pose and let's walk down in a low chair, walk back on the mat towards the back of the mat and go a little deeper here and walk to the front one, two, three, four, five, six, go a little deeper, back one, two, three, four, five, six and forward and backward and hands on the floor walk to the front in plank and lower down in chaturanga upward dog and chaturanga downward dog spread the fingers open Feel the contact with the earth here, feet and hands. Widen the feet, widen the hands. Inhale the right leg up. Open the right knee up towards the ceiling, right hip opens. Drop it behind. And lift the hips as high as you can. Lifting and opening here in well thing. To side plank, hold it. To knee crunch is optional. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Smile. Nine, ten. To plank. To chaturanga. To up dog, to chaturanga, to down dog. Inhale the left leg up and open the knee. Lift. Lift, lift, lift. And drop it behind in wild thing. Open the chest, lift the hips. Side plank. Either hold it, you can hold any modification of it, of course. Or knee crunches. One, knee tucks. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and plank. 
to chaturanga, to up dog, to child pose. You can turn the hands towards each other, palms. Come up to sit it, sit between your heels and either sit or lower down. Thunderbolt. You can lower down all the way, stretching. Keeping the knees down. And to come up, press into the heels, onto the elbows. Come up. Hands in front of you. Cross the feet. Take the right leg under at the front. Flex the foot. Double pigeon. Flex and hold. Hands in prayer. And you can clasp, cross, extend down and hold here. Extending the energy down again and you can exhale through the fingertips and the hips. Keep the feet flexing and focus on your exhalation. Keep it smooth. And come up, opposite side, flex the feet, adjust cross, release, I'm using the elbows to deepen that stretch to keep the top leg down so that I can feel the hip opening, the hip stretching, sweet release. And here we're gonna come out of this and lay down. So laying back down onto your back. We're going to bring the knees in, open them out, feet are slightly pointing in and Keeping about 90 degree angle, press the belly down. You can, you can even help with your hands under the hips and lower one side and then the other toe dips with really strong control of your lower abs and especially for everybody that's working on strengthening the core and TVA and deep abdominal wall and lower belly. This is a really good one because you're not gonna just breeze through it without paying attention to your form. It's a little bit easier seemingly, so you can really maintain proper form because oftentimes when we're doing more of the complicated ones, oftentimes people just don't necessarily keep everything engaged. So this sets you up for engaging every part of the core. So you should feel it. We did vacuums, lower, lower, lower lower really feel the connection you can touch if you have had a baby which a lot of my interval yogis have had a lot of babies so touch 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 where 
where you used to have or have separation to make sure that there is no separation at all really pull the sides of the belly in either keep your hands there or you can bring them in prayer and up few more hug your knees into the chest and take a few deep breaths extend the left leg a few inches of the floor and right knee in Reach with your hands forward here and really suck everything in. Change. And lay back down. Let's bring the right knee across. Twist. Left knee across. Coming out, soles of the feet together lay here. And let's bring the hands on the outside of the legs. Turn the knees up. I'm gonna do a few more vacuums here in this position. So you're going to tuck the tailbone or shift the tailbone up this time. Scooping, scooping the belly in. Lower belly up. Sides of the belly in and you can try to scoop your belly inwards as you do a little pelvic tilt exhale and go two more Let's go into plow. Shoulder stand. Lower back down. Slowly roll out of this. Once your tailbone reaches the floor, bring your hands behind your knees 
and rock up and back a few times massaging the spine making the rocking a little bigger up until you come into a squat and a low squat pose one two three and i like to sneak up intervals on you so either come into a full squat up or squat jump one two three and lower down plow rock up squat low squat so good for your hips again first second chakra pose especially first low squat three poses one two three and either two jumps or two three four squats and lower down and again Plow. <laughs> A few more. Keep going. Either keep up with me or at your own pace. One, two, three. One, two, three. This really lifts up our energy and moves everything. Because laziness is just as good as gluttony. <laughs> Not good. So I like to move your energy. Plow. Squat. One, two, three, one, two, three. All right, coming up to the front and forward bend. Give me one more stomach vacuum when you're ready. Coming up to standing. And shifting onto the right leg. Cross lunge. And open out. Cross lunge. Open out. Cross back lunge. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight nine and ten opposite side one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten step it at the front Chair, lower down, sit onto your booty, hold for a moment, walk your hands behind you and come into bridge or tabletop, lift, lift, lift and let's walk on the outside of the mat on the left side and walk over on the right try to keep the hips lifted and cross again and cross a few more times crossing Sit down, open the legs, flex the feet, forward fold. Coming up, 
side bend to side bend and comfortable cross-legged sitting hands in prayer cross interlace the fingers and thumbs included extend the index fingers pressing them into each other turn them down and hold for five breaths and bring your hands over the knees open to receiving energy this is a very receptive open pose you can bring the index and thumb together holding here for a moment tuning into the central axis of the body here extending the tailbone the sitting bones down allowing them to sink into the mat hold here Now let's twist and opposite side and smile hands over the heart let's bow to our hearts for their forgiveness compassion and love namaste and remember to be subscribed so you're not missing any of the upcoming classes and challenges and programs and if you are looking for longer classes for more in-depth classes come to my membership where i'm uploading very long very detailed vinyasa and power yoga and interval yoga flows and workout so come on there otherwise i'll see you next wednesday i'll be here every single wednesday either with a hit or with a yoga class so look out for those and have a beautiful rest of the day or night namaste